Now I finally want to show you the scalable coffee shop in action. And that means we will fire up several applications that connect to Apache Kafka. So here we have our three modules in the applications that I, that I showed you. And we will um, use Docker to fire up several instances of that. Um, having that said, we use a Docker file that would just adds that to Wildfly and builds it and runs it using um, specific ports because on our host systems we can bind, bind all the ports to, to the same one and now we will build and run all of the examples concurrently that adds the specific war files in that case the barista war, the beans war and the orders war file to the application servers and then fires up three instances of Wildfly that will then connect to the um, to the Kafka cluster and then will serve our requests. Well, actually only the order um, system will serve the requests for the orders and beans for the beans and the barista system is only um, responsible for brewing the coffee actually. So now what we can do we have another uh, couple of consoles where we actually can call for the beans. So we ask the um, second uh, system that's mapped to 8002. That is the bean system to give us the beans, which are currently empty. So there are no beans in store. Having that said, if we now go to the order sites and order new beans by posting a new order to the order system using JSON say we want to have for example a pour over or espresso from beans from Colombia that's fine but if we do so then several things happen first of all the re uh, request gets accepted that's nice so it was immediately two or two accepted that's fine you placed your order and then we got the location where we can now query our order. And then immediately several other things happened that we will just see right now. So first of all, these are these three consoles are the event streams using an Apache uh, Kafka um, command line consumer that will just for debug purposes show us the events. So these are con connected to Kafka as well. It says an order has been placed with the following data at that time with the order info to give us pour over from Colombia. That's a fact, the order has been placed. And then immediately order failed because beans were not available. So that first event has been, as I said, consumed now by the beans, um, by the beans module that immediately said, sorry, there are, as you can see over there, no beans available. So that validation has been failed and I will now send the event order failed because of beans not available. And that immediately got back to the um, order system saying, okay, sorry, the beans were not available, but you have to update your order. And that happened so fast that actually if we now queried or immediately queried the um, order ID that it says, okay, status is actually canceled. You wanted to have a pour over coffee with beans from Colombia, but they are not there. And that's how how it works in action. So now, of course, we want to see um, some real coffee that has been done. So if we actually tell our other um, beans module that we now want to ship some new beans, for example, we want to post new beans to that storage with like say um, an amount of 10 so 10 portions from beans from Colombia please do so yeah that's fine oh and another event happened the beans store event because these beans have been stored 10 portions from um, Colombia and if we query now that bean system that tells us okay beans from Colombia now we have 10 in stock that's nice and you see from the event that it's happened. All the other systems did not notice that. And the barista 
for now didn't notice anything because it's not interested. They say, yeah, they can order a lot, but we don't have beans, so I can relax. But now finally, we want to place an order where we order something that is available. And now we have beans from Colombia, so we can do our pour over. And now a few more things happen. And let's query that for now before the barista starts the work. So the order has been placed again, the beans from Colombia, and now you say you see that the order bean, uh, was validated. So it was valid because we do have enough beans from Colombia. We have still one portion or more left. So that has been validated. And then we say, okay, now order accepted because our order system now accepted the order and updated the status to accepted. And then immediately the barista says, oh, now I can finally do something because I'm only interested in events order accepted. And now I can start the coffee brew. So coffee brew has started. And that's what we saw here. Then order started. That's in another event because coffee brew started was consumed again by the order system. Then the update, uh, the, the status of the order was updated to start it and so on and so forth. And the barista now, the system internally has a EJB timer to check, okay, check everyone. And then if the brew is finished and so on and so forth. And then eventually the coffee brew is finished. That means now if we query it, it was finished and actually it's already delivered, which was again recognized by the other system to update to finished and then finally delivered. And that's it. And these are the end statuses canceled or delivered. And this is how it works that we have several kinds of systems here uh, who communicate using events. And now about the scalability thing. So that's nice. We already have three systems, but of course we want to do more. So for example, if these um, three systems are not enough and say we do get so many orders that we actually want to scale up our order instance, we can do so by adding a fourth instance. And now we only have to change one thing. We can start up and uh, just fire up another Docker instance, which is fine. But we, as we are on one system here on my local host, we have to change the port to something new. Otherwise, that uh, gets a clash. And then, oh, actually, we also need to change the name. The name and the port. And now a new Docker um, container with a new name and listens to a, listening to a different port will fire up and then it will and this is the point what i explained in the last video it will connect to the same event handler group consumer kafka, uh, kafka consumer group and a new um uh, consumer group because it will it wants to have the new events all of them but the handled events only should be handled once and as i said now the events will um, be consumed here as well. And this is what I explained in the last video. Actually, it already applied all of the events, which you can see here. So they will uh, fire the order delivered and so on and so forth. So the nice story is if we now ask our new system, which listens on port 8004, it will also tell us, tell us hey, that order that you're asking me for has been delivered. Although that happened way before that system was up. But with the event sourcing mechanism, it asked for all the events and then it applied all the events in its internal storage. And now we can ask each and every system because they will communicate using the events and each system will update their internal view representation using the event store. And now Having that said, we can uh, play that game again. So we want to order another, um, in that case, not a pour over, but an espresso from Colombia. But this time we ask again, the second system and tells us, okay, accepted to two and order was accepted. Um, the beans were validated because, well, 
it uh, we still have enough beans available by the way we can ask our system how many beans do we have left eight because there were two orders in the past and now well our coffee brew we can ask now either the second or just for fun let's ask the first system to give us um, the status of that new order and oh it actually it has already been delivered and now we have several instances totally independent from each other only communicating using the event store and the event store mechanism and they will independently update their internal view representation now we have four docker containers already and we can fire up and scale as much as we like.